Well, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here. So I do have all three of the brand new Evolution tins here. We have Espeon, we have Sylveon, and of course Umbreon. Uh, normally, I, when these tins come out, I do them all in one sitting, but I decided I wanted to break it down and do them uh, just one at a time. Uh, so videos won't be as long. And uh, while I wait for some of my sponsored merch to come in, it will kind of fill in those gaps. So Anyway, we're going to start with uh, Espeon here today. I do have some codes to give out, so here you go. Oop. I think that one covered, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we're going to start with this one here. Uh, we do have some Fusion Strike to open up sometime this week. We have some Vivid Voltage. Um, I have a whole bunch of mail coming in, so I'll probably put that off till early next week. So stay tuned for that as well. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack into this one. to get some new promos in, especially because I've been working on the binder. Oh, nice. Okay, I was actually kind of interested to see what the packs were going to be, but uh, yeah, so here we go. That Espeon promo there looks absolutely amazing, and that is promo number 201. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how many promos we're going to end up with in the Sword and Shield generation. Uh, if I was to guess, probably around 250, maybe even more. But let's check out the pack. So you get four packs per, or no, five, nice. They have Brilliant Stars, nice, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, <coughs> Evolving Skies, and Chilling Rain. So pretty good pack selection, I'll gladly take that. Oh, there is a code on the back of this, I'll give that away here in a little bit. Move this off to the side, but yeah, like I said, so uh, just make these videos a little bit shorter, but uh, you have an idea of what we're going to be getting into. So uh, yeah, let's just crack right into it. Alright, here we go. This should be a slide off. There you go. Flip it on over. Let's see if we can get any good pulls out of these tins. The tins, just like ETBs, are very hit and miss. But uh, I don't know. You, you're paying for like the packaging and the promo and stuff like that. So if you get any pulls out of it, um, you know it's you know I, I consider it a bonus. So Cybold is the first reverse, and behind it is a Sawbox. All right. So nothing out of Chilling Rain. That's all right. Got Evolving Skies up next. Two sets that uh, I'm still missing so many cards on, but they're huge sets, and they have a lot of Seeker Rares in them, so they're definitely harder sets to complete. But uh, slowly but surely, I am working on them, and uh, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, try and buy like some of the cheaper Ultra Rares or like some of the cheaper Full Arts, um, just to get those knocked out, and then keep trying to pull some of the higher end stuff. But uh, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so we have Wobbuffet as the reverse and a Ludicolo Hollow. All right, nice. So better than nothing, I'll take it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, on to Fusion Strike, which, as I mentioned before, I've got some more to open up. Um, the best buy by me has been, oops, as I drop it on the floor, <laughs> um, the best buy by me uh, has been really good with um, just, you know, having good amount of inventory to get. Flip this. Wow, that one was all kinds of weird. Um, I said pretty solid inventory of stuff to pick up, so I go there on a couple times a week and uh, just grab some small stuff here and there, nothing too crazy, but uh, it's a lot easier than going to like Walmart or Target for me, so. All right, cross switcher as the reverse and a Latias. All right, luckily we didn't have anything too crazy in that one. Would have been a shame if we got like the Altar Mew and I dropped on the floor. Anyway, on to Brilliant Stars. See if we can get us a trainer card out of either one of these. But like I said, I've got the other two tins to go through. Uh, if you'd rather see me open up the other two tins together, let me know in the comments. If not, I'm just going to be doing these one at a time, just to try and make these videos shorter for this week. And uh, yeah, and then just roll into next week with even more content. So Purloin as the reverse and a Golark. Okay, let's see if we can get anything more than just the one hollow. Um, but like I said, I mean, if you get any pulls out of this, I'll take it. If not, hey, I still had, good, I still had a good time opening it. <laughs> Goodness, my brain is mush. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, I still have the other two tins to go through. So, all right, here we go. Last pack. Let's see if we can get anything out of this one. Let's get at least a trainer card. I don't even care if it's one I already pulled before. Halucha. Nope, no trainer card. And <laughs> live part. Okay. So maybe I will open up the other two tins together. I don't know. You guys let me know, especially because it's only 10 packs, but uh, let me grab this promo or the, the code card off this here. 
But uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this content, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, make sure you turn on notifications so you guys know when I post content. But again, I want to make this short and sweet. We have the, where did I put it? I'm all over the place, sorry. <laughs> we do have the Espeon tin. Uh, and again, we still have the other two tins to go through as well. So stay tuned for those. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.